I'm going to go out there, I'm going to give him a boxing lesson, and I'm going to knock him out. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Big right hand, now missed by Wilder. Wilder, Wilder, look at this! Pinag-aralan at mukhang pinaghandaan talaga ni Tyson Fury ang pamatay na suntok ni Deante Wilder. Sa huling laban ni Wilder nung nakaraang taon, agawa siya ng record bilang heavyweight may pinakamalakas na punching power na nag average ng 95% mula sa kanyang win record na 42 wins, 41 dito ay knockout. na kung ikukumpara kay Mike Tyson ay nag average lang ng 56% ang punching power na mula sa 50 nitong panalo ay 44 lang ang knockout nito and he scored some exceptional knockouts at dito niya rin nakuha ang record bilang pang top 10 Heavyweight na may longest title defense. Kahilera niya rito sila Muhammad Ali, Lennox Lewis, Evander Holyfield at si Vladimir Klitschko. Ngunit ang lahat ng magandang record niyan ay winasak lang sa isang iglap ni Tyson Fury. Matapos siyang talunin by a TKO sa loob lamang ng 7th round. Dalawang beses siyang napabagsak ni Fury Una sa third round Pangalawa naman ay sa fifth round Na kung saan ay nabigyan din siya Ng isang matindi sa tagiliran Ngunit sa third round pa lang ay napuruhan na siya. Dito siya inabot na matindi sa kanyang kaliwang tenga. Kung saan nadali ang kanyang eardrum dahilan kung bakit hindi tumigil ang pagdurugo nito. Kaya naman sinamantala ni Fury ang pagkakataon habang hindi pa tuluyang nakaka-recover si Wilder. At pagdating nga ng 7th round ay dito na tuluyan nagpas siya ang referee para itigil ang laban. Matapos maghagis ng towel ng assistant coach ni Wilder at bago pa tuluyang magrogi ito. Matapos ngang matalo ay hindi na lumabas ng kanyang locker room at hindi na nagpakita sa preskon itong si Deante Wilder. Halos hindi na nga ito makatayo dahil sa iniinda nitong sakit sa kanyang binti. Ito naman ang kanyang sinisising dahilan kung bakit na nakit ang binti niya at dahilan kaya siya natalo sa laban. Pero ang totoong dahilan ay ang bugbog na inabot niya at ang mabibigat na patama sa kanya ni Tyson Fury. Kaya hindi nito matanggap ang pait ng unang pagkatalo. 
Bago pa magsimula ang kanilang laban ay mukhang nakakasiguro na napanalo itong si Tyson Fury at kumpiyansang mapapabagsak niya si Deontay Wilder. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to give him a boxing lesson and I'm going to knock him out. That's exactly what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to go in there, knock Deontay Wilder out and go home. That's what I do. I come here, I win, I leave. I don't stay for a party, I don't stay for a holiday. I come here, knock out, go home. Done. Dahil nung December 2018 ay nagkasubukan na ang dalawa sa una nilang pagharap. Dito unang nasukat ni Tyson Fury ang lakas ni Deontay Wilder matapos siyang pabagsakin ng dalawang beses. Ngunit pinakita ni Fury ang kanyang tibay at tatag at pinilit nitong makahabol at lumamang sa puntusan. At nang matapos nga ay naging draw ang resulta ng kanilang laban. Ito marahil ang naging basihan ni Tyson Fury kung bakit niya nasabi na kaya niyang talunin si Deontay Wilder sa oras na magkaharap uli sila. Dahil mukhang nakarkula na ni Fury ang galawan at ang diskarte ni Deontay Wilder. Majority of boxing fans felt you won the fight. That you don't have to do anything different. You just got to avoid the right hand and you'll get a decision. Yeah, but I thought I won the fight last time and I didn't get a decision. So what's to say I'm going to get it again? So if I knock him out, then it's decisions made. saying that you want the knockout in this second fight the fans would be like no you don't have to do that Tyson you know they would have faith in boxing and they would say that's a more a, a fight that favors him because he, he's the puncher I'm a puncher too 20 knockouts out of 29 wins someone's always got to go and it ain't gonna go by decision it's gonna go by KO you said you're gonna be slippery like a goldfish but you're gonna be able to knock him out you expect yeah. the second round can you elaborate second a little bit round KO Slippery, slippery, slippery. Boom! Boom! Good night, oh, Vienna. Oh That's all she wrote. Goodness. He can't win. He's got a puncher chance just like everybody else. He could barely land it last time. He landed two, three punches in the full fight. And much sharper now. Match fit coming off 12 good rounds. You know, been in training camp. I haven't had to lose any weight. I'm fine. I'm great. Ready to rumble right now. Hope he trains hard. Hope he goes to bed sleeping, thinking about me. If only I could land me right hand. You know, he's got out of jail a couple of times with that right hand in his last couple of fights. Like he said, people say to me, oh, he's lucky he, get, he gets away with this one shot. Like he just said, it ain't luck. He has to, he has to put it there. But well, this time, he won't be there. At tila nagtutugma naman ang prediksyon at hula ni Ted Atlas. I've been saying from the beginning of his career that Wilder, and with a lot of attacking when I say it, especially from Wilder's people, that Wilder can't fight. can't fight never learned how to fight but punches are not made they are born and he was born with that great eraser with that thunderbolt in the right hand but tonight it wasn't there to pull him out of the fire it wasn't there to say tonight he got exposed because he doesn't know how to fight because his technique is so good and all credit to fury and i was talking about it that instead of being a ferrari he decided to be a jeep yeah jeeps can be good jeeps can go up terrain Jeeps can, you know, go up hills. Jeeps can crash into things. Jeeps can knock things down. How tough it is being the wife of this guy who's seen as a killer in the ring and yet talk so much about how much he loves you and his family and his children and that last year or two years ago he told me if he had to, he didn't take a pill to carry the children. Do you remember that? Yes, sir. How much you love the children. Yes, sir. Can you talk to us about... How he's a different man and, and, and what he's like at home and how tough it is with the Yes, I think um, the Braun Bomber and Dante Wilder are two completely different people. Um, who he is in the ring is not who he is at home. At home, he's loving, he's funny, he's nurturing. He'll play with the kids more than I do. So um, he's definitely a great father. 
in people in boxing don't really get to see how he is as a person, not just as a boxer. And I feel like that's um, where I come in and kids come in as a family and humble him into where he's not, you know, this aggressive person that everyone thinks that he is, because he's, he's not, you know. Thanks for watching the fight. So it wasn't Kenny Bayless, it was the corner that stopped it. Yeah, and it was a good stoppage. I, I thought they should have stopped it in the sixth. Um, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys.